kid you not, I kid you not, we're going to try and find it again. I just saw a caracal. I was on the road. It's just gone off into the bushes here. We are, we're not going anywhere until we find this thing. It went here. Now, they're exceptionally shy cats. They're small. My heart is racing. Where is it? Where is it? I cannot believe what I've just seen. That was unbelievable. That is the first caracal I've ever seen in the Sabi sand and one for a very long time. We're not going anywhere. I'm going to find it. It was just here. My goodness, I got just about got tears in my eyes. I was so excited. It moved around somewhere in here. Vim, can we maybe just scan into these bushes? Because what I think would have happened, I d it didn't run away, which was quite interesting. It sort of just slinked off the side of the road. Oh my goodness, please, please, please give me another view of this. will be amazing. Let me go back again. I'm sure it's just sitting in these shrubs just next to us. Oh my goodness. Viam, you didn't see it, eh? Oh, at first I thought it was a steenbok standing on the road and then I looked at it and I went, no, 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 that's too, that's a bit long for a steenbok. Let's just sit here for a moment. Let's just see if we can get another view. Now, of course, you're going to have to be patient with us, but it, oh, I can't tell you how excited I do. was amazing. That's not a caracal, that looks like a termite mound of some sort. You know what we're going to do? This is a special sighting. I'm going to off-road here. Just in case it has gone a little bit further back, so now we're going to keep a close eye. Can you see it? Viam says you can see it. <gasps> no ways. There's the caracal. No ways. This is also known as an African lynx. I think this could be the first time. Have, have you ever seen a caracal before, Louise? Well, Viam, you are an absolute biscuit. Let me go forward again. The camera's going to... It's somewhere in the grass there. Can you see it again? I think it's slinked off a bit further away. But you did, everybody, I'm sure you got a quick glimpse of it. We'll try and see if we can get a better view. They're amazing. Okay, let's, where did it go? Let's go in, Viam. Let's go and have a little look. That is incredible. Now you can all believe me, because I'm sure there was a couple of you that were doubting and saying, no, Taylor's just, just imagining things again, which I do often. Oh my goodness, how exciting is this? This is incredible because I was convinced that there were no caracal in the Sabi sand. I genuinely was convinced because I searched and searched and searched for these things. Look for tracks, never saw tracks ever. It's gone just in the grass somewhere up ahead. We'll see if we, hopefully we get another view. Come on, caracal. That is amazing. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. I just want to try and get a good view. I'm going to go under here. Let's just have a little scan here. I'm going to stand up just so that I can try and see above the long grass. Oh my goodness, Viam, how excited are you? This is incredible. They are po possibly my favorite small cats. I love servals. Absolutely love servals. However, a caracal or an African lynx is just something completely different. I'm standing up as you can see, I'm not tall. I'm just trying to figure out where it's gone. Right, let me go. I'm just thinking if I go a little bit further forward. It was it wasn't it wasn't moving away fast, Avian. It was just just slinking away, which is good. I'm glad that it, it didn't run, like full, go into a full bolt, which is really good. Now it's very tight here, but we're gonna no, we're not gonna do anything if I drive like that. We'll try our best. Now we must remember the spot because Caracal will regularly visit the same spot. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. My heart is absolutely racing at the moment. Oh hang on, that's not good. My earpiece is now being pulled out. Let me bring that here. Just gonna check and of course again you just have to bear with us as we search here. 
Let's have a little scan through the bushes. Very camouflaged, as you saw, that sort of rust color. Not a particularly large cat. I would say, if I were to try and describe how big it is in terms of a dog, if any of you know, um, like a Jack Russell with long legs, so almost like a Fox Terrier, I suppose you could say, but Caracol are incredible cats. For their size, if they were the size of a lion, they'd be much stronger than lions. They've got massive power, or big shoulders, big hindquarters, which they will use to push themselves off of the ground and leap into the air. They are specialists at catching birds. They'll catch rodents, also very good, of course, stalking through the long grass like, caracal, uh, like normal cats are. Now, Cage, you're wondering if it left any tracks. Unfortunately not. That ground over there is clay, hard clay at the moment, so we won't see anything. That's what I first thought to double check my mind. And then as we drove up there, it's just like concrete just about. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. It's not far. I don't think it has gone far. I think it is literally just sitting in the grass, hiding away from us. Oh, my goodness. You know what? And it just shows you to trust your instinct as a guide. Even if you're uncertain, you think you saw something, go back, triple check, quadruple check, put the camera on it straight away because you never know. But how absolutely amazing was that? That was that. I can't tell you the adrenaline rush that I get from something like that that I haven't seen in such a long time. That was fantastic. Oh my goodness. BM, what do you think? You think it's gone? I think it's lurking too. It's going a bit further. Let's see. Now, for something special like this, you're most definitely allowed to off-road. The difference was is if that caracal had gone into a full sprint, I would have completely left it. <laughs> Larry, thank you for being on my side. You said that one caracal is worth 10 birds. That's fantastic. My goodness, I think I'll happily lose the bird challenge. I'll lose the bird challenge for the next 25 million years if it means that I can get a good view or to get you all a good view of this caracal. Now it's tough here. VM, should I look on the right and you look on the left? What we'll try and do is, because if we both keep scanning either side, we're gonna potentially miss it. Now I can't, hey? You think you can see something in there? We'll just keep searching. VM said it looked like he could see something sort of watching us in the grass, and that's exactly what it will do. This is the perfect height for a caracal. It completely disappears in this long grass, and it could just well be sitting underneath the shrub. It could be right, right next to the car, sitting completely motionless. But one thing that's really amazing with a caracal, and I don't know if you got to see it because it was such a quick shot as it sl uh, sort of started slinking through the grass, is that on the tips of their ears, they've got those beautiful big black tufts, which is where they get the name the African lynx from. It's typical for lynxes to have that big tuft of hair. Oh my goodness. Where did you go, you beauty? Now, Reese, you're wondering where do caracal hide during the day? Literally just how we spotted it at the moment. Underneath a shrub with some long grass. No. Oh, I got excited. It's just a brown leaf in the grass. So in this long grass, the caracal really doesn't need to put much effort into hiding. Underneath the shrub, fallen logs, big marulas that elephants have pushed over, anything like that. So natural cavities or, well, just under, the, under shrubs and things like that. Now, VM's also standing up, scanning around. I can't believe that. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we got a glimpse of it because I can tell you right now, no one would have believed me that I said that I saw a caracal. I think something special like this in, in, in the Sabi sand, they're not really that prolific. You've, uh, you've really got to uh, have evidence and make sure that you've got your story straight, straight. And I actually got nervous at one point. I thought maybe it was a stern book. And I was like, no, no, started doubting myself. It can't be, it can't be. That was incredible. I got so excited you heard my voice when I said to Vim, Caracol, wait, I don't think I've ever gone so high pitched in my entire life. I didn't know I could reach uh, that, that pitch. It was actually quite impressive. Oh, my goodness, I think this caracal, I mean, let's move out. We'll come back here a bit later.